Um, I mean, having Elvis is a little bit like having a kid. I would just sort of like to know whether Elvis has this talent that he's not getting to use. I'm Robbie Brown. I cover the Southeast for the New York Times. This is my Basset Hound Elvis. And we're going to the Fun Field Trial in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. A weekend camp to teach purebred dogs how to hunt like they were intended to. I wanted to see which would win out for Elvis. Nature or nurture. Elvis sleeps about 20 hours a day, so that's obviously his main activity. He's five, but if you factor out the time that he's been asleep, he's not even really one. I wanted to prepare Elvis for success. Experts said I should familiarize him with a rabbit's smell. Hi, do you guys have rabbits at your pet store? No. Do you know where they might sell rabbits? I heard that they were in the mall. Hi, do you guys have rabbits? You're sold out of rabbits. It's crazy. There's like a huge rabbit shortage in Atlanta right now. So now we are driving to a hunting goods store where they sell a scent of rabbit. So we got the rabbit scent, the last one, at the Bass Pro Shop outside of Atlanta. So I put this all over that, drag it, and then the idea is he'll follow the smell to this. Right. Come here, Elvis. Come here. Come here. Smell it. Okay. But instead of tracking the scent, Elvis preferred to roll around in it. He's pretty much bathing in the smell of rabbit. Clearly, there's room for improvement. The big day had arrived. We joined 15 fellow novice hunters and their doting owners. Like if it was my son, to take him to a to a you know little league, you know that kind of thing. This is Stonewall Al Capone. His whole litter was named after gangsters. Oh, 12. I'm here. Where's Missy? Chewie's here. Each beginner dog was teamed up with a more experienced dog. Elvis would come be on, working Elvis. with Quest. Do you know what Quest is doing? We get one chance each to track a rabbit into the brush. Elvis was slated to go second to last, so I bonded with the other Basset Hound owners. They're comical, they're Good loving. Girl. Come here. Good girl. You kind of get addicted. I like the, the sad countenance. I think it reminds me of my inner soul, which is ultimately being depressed. Find it, find it, find it. For beginning dog owners, there was a lot of cajoling. Find it, find it, find it, find it. Find it. Go, 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 go. And even more confusion. Oh. I, I, I don't think he knew exactly what he was supposed to do. Moxie was confused today. Moxie didn't really know what she was hunting for. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. For a while there, he actually had his nose down and seemed to be hunting. And that's the first time I've seen him do that. And what's and that like for you as the owner? I, I was thrilled. Not much, you know, it's probably not much to be thrilled about, but hey, you take your thrills where you find them. Oh, if Elvis could do it, I'm going to be thrilled too. <laughs> sure. And then finally, it was go time for us. I am a little bit nervous. Elvis seems excited. He's uh, walking over to where the rabbit was last spotted, and then we're going to see whether he can follow the trail. And then for one magic moment, Elvis put his nose down, just like Quest. It was a thing of beauty. And then, nature called. Elvis is going to the bathroom right now. He never quite recovered. Elvis, go in there. Quest dove into the brush while Elvis hung around the perimeter, somewhat oblivious. No, come on, Elvis, come on. Three minutes later, it was all over. How common is it for a dog to do what Elvis did, which is sort of at the critical moment to decide to, to go to the bathroom? Hey, but you gotta go, you gotta go. And with that, it was time for us to go. Back to Atlanta, and for Elvis, back to sleep. And he's on his way home.